I got it. Ah, I got it. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Yes. Sweet mother of double jeopardy backstroking and butterscotch. We're on our way. Who was it? The Girl Scouts lawyers again? That was the commissioner. You'll never guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Phyllis Diller? Gavin McCloud? Wink Martindale? Close. Myra Stump, the darling hawk of daytime talk. Myra? As in America's mom? The woman who told Tom Hanks to get a haircut? Surely you jest. She's holding her audience hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. I don't normally endorse the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly. I think. We've got to drive over to the station right away. We're at our earliest convenience. Great! I've been itching to bust some skulls since they canceled my so-called life. Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise! Mr. Spatula's looking good today. Isn't he plastic? One of these days we're gonna finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. Nothing useful in here. How ironic! The drawers are just painted on to make the desk seem useful. Is this the president? It is? Really? Well, uh, thanks. That's all I wanted to know. Hello, Mista Pizza? Send over another gargantuan anchovy and hot sauce special, please. Hello, Max? Yes? Just checking. Hello, is this the president? It is? Really? Well, uh, thanks. That's all I wanted to know. Hi, Sam. This is your therapist calling. I have to cancel our appointment because I'm giving up the practice to go into publishing. Speaking of which, thanks for all your great material. Sam, it's me. Open the window. I'm trapped in the ledge again. Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quieter times. Hubert doesn't look so hot, Max. He doesn't look any worse than he did two months ago. Hello? Jerk! Henry, somebody's shooting at us again! These donuts must be three months old. Don't throw that out! I'm saving it for a science experiment. You bet, little buddy. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. What do you mean? The reception's perfect right now. Welcome back, America, to day three and a half of my most special episode ever. You don't want to miss any of our exciting guests coming up this hour. Plus, everyone in the audience is going to be getting a lifetime supply of non-dairy creamer. We don't need non-dairy creamer. We need sleep. Oh, I see. You were all thrilled when I gave you cars, then all expense paid vacations, and then home entertainment centers, but now, after I worked so hard and sacrificed so much, you'd rather sleep? It's all about you, isn't it? I guess nothing I ever do is good enough for you. Maybe. 
maybe we'll start using non-dairy creamer someday. That's more like it. You see, there's lots more fun to come, so stick around, America, and sit up straight. Nobody trusts a sloucher. Good old TV. It's the only way I still feel well adjusted. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. A very disturbed individual sits here. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me! Which is why I haven't tried it. Ah yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. Twenty years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? Anybody home? Guess not. We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Ants are just like people, aren't they? Yeah, kind of cute from far away, but really scary when you look at them through a microscope. Our thugs and hoodlums file cabinet is almost full. Can I help it if I come from a large family? Ah, Brady Culture's hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh-so-enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. My toes are all a Twitter that we've gotten another case so close on the heels of the last one. Don't say a Twitter, Sam. Well, well, Myra Stump holding her audience hostage. You watch that particular bit of daytime fluff occasionally, don't you, Max? Whenever our TV's out of hock, for some reason I can't get enough of her sharp-toothed maternal ranting. Why do you suppose Myra's got her audience captive? Who knows? Last month, Charles Groton put his hand on her desk and she hit it with a ruler. She's very strict. You're a lovable but essentially useless lump of fur and icky stuffing materials, Max. On the contrary, I can be a vital source of alternative insight into the problems that plague you. Well, there's that. Let's get going. You lead and I'll follow haphazardly, shall I? This tear gas grenade launcher is just a salad shooter and some pureed onions. I never travel without my trusty firearm.